you, Mr. Speaker. Confusion over the Drive Able program seems to be running rampant. It's a test some seniors are forced to take when renewing their driver's license at a cost of up to $300, a test that's long been complained about that is unfair, inaccurate, and ineffective. Yesterday, in question period, the Minister of Transportation told the House that the Drive Able program was under a review by his department. This was a very surprising and inter interesting piece of information for me to hear. Because up until yesterday, myself and other concerned Albertans were told that the Department of Transportation had nothing to do with Drive Able. In fact, not so long ago, the now Minister of Health wrote in a letter to a seniors advocacy group that Drive Able was a private company with no affiliation with the Government of Alberta. Now, Mr. What? Speaker, this is the basis of the confusion. How can one minister say the government will review Drive Able? And yet the other minister says the government has nothing to do with Drive Able. Hmm. The only thing clear about this situation, Mr. Speaker, is that both the Minister of Health and the Minister of Transportation are confused and clearly inconsistent. Concerns about Drive Able are not new to this government. These concerns regarding seniors' independence and privacy did not just come out now from the woodwork. Seniors have been voicing their concern about this program for a significant time. For the Minister to now say that Drive Able is under review is quite an omission. Not long ago, Drive Able was a pilot project, a private company doing some research. However, now somehow it's under the wing of the Minister of Transportation and under a reviewable mandate of that Minister. If that's truly the case, Alberta's seniors will be shocked to hear that at the same time they were bringing their concerns forward about Drive Able, the government was quietly establishing itself as official judge, jury, and executioner of the seniors' driving privileges and ultimately their independence. This has raised many questions amongst Albertans. Most importantly, what is the appeal process? But unfortunately, instead, we're left with no answers. Thank you.